Welcome to Four Speedy Boss. If your dog pulls on a leash, your everyday walks are probably really stressful for you. What about making a change? Every dog can walk nicely on leash and every dog owner can teach it. I have prepared a series of tutorials, so I highly recommend you subscribing to my channel if you don't want to miss any of them. Teach your dog to walk nicely on leash and change your life. Unleash walking is basically a dog trick or a dog sport discipline if you prefer, so a proper training is necessary. It will take some time and effort, but you can get there. First things first, review your walk gear. If you have a flexi leash like this, your dog is basically induced to pull on leash. There is no other way for a dog to walk on this leash other than by pulling forward. My first recommendation would be to get rid of this type of leash. You find it practical and want to keep it? Please don't, you really do not need this. Sometimes you need your dog to pull, for example when hiking or doing cane cross. For these types of situations, designate a special set of gear which clearly sends a message to your dog, pull now. For health and safety reasons, I recommend a bungee rope leash and a harness. This will save your dog from suffocation and your back from any unnecessary pain. If you don't have this set in your collection, please buy it. For a proper leash walk, you will need a stable leash. I prefer this type of leash where by clicking the carmenias you can easily change the shape and usage of the leash. You can make your own leash at home from a strong laundry rope or paracord strings. And I usually recommend getting a collar to pair with the leash. Now it's time to set your goal and criteria. What is the desired behavior you want your dog to perform? Is it walking by your side, walking in front of you on a loose leash or you simply don't want to be pulled by your dog from side to side? Different goals means different training methods. So you need to decide now. For me, nice leash walk is a situation where my dog walks nicely and I can just use one finger to hold the leash like bright whale. If I want my dog to walk on my side, I use a command for heel. And this is what we do off leash. Like in any other dog training, you need to control the environment first to enable your dog to succeed. Start the training at home where there are no distractions. Slowly move to the backyard. If your dog cannot walk nicely there, it will never be able to do it outside on a street or at a park. And the same is true for some preconditions. If your dog is full of energy after 20 hours sleep, it is super difficult for him to do something as boring as a leash walk. Enable your dog to use up the energy first before demanding a nice behavior. Go to the park using the harness and bungee leash. You enable your dog to pull, he will use some of the energy and you can play or run together. On your way back, switch to a collar and a standard leash to walk nicely. Also, never train when your dog is too tired to focus. And if you have two dogs, make sure their leashes are of the same length. A consistent approach is critically important here. You should never enable your dog pulling on a collar with standard leash. The rules need to be the same every single time, every single walk. If you haven't taught your dog to do it yet, do not force him to make a mistake by setting the preconditions incorrectly. If your dog pulls, use the harness and bunch. Bingo, this is a success. Then use the collar and standard leash in a controlled environment so that your dog can understand the difference. Don't worry, this is just a training phase and soon you'll be able to walk him nicely on leash without pulling, even in very destructive environment. So now you feel motivated and want to start straight away. That's great! Let's start with a simple staircase exercise that will raise your dog's body awareness, his focus on you and also prevents him from pulling you down and up the stairs, which can be really dangerous. Check our shorts with tutorials. 
Till my next video where you will find exact methods of training, don't forget to think about your goal and criteria. I wish you best of luck with the staircase exercise, keep me posted about your progress and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, have fun!